everybody. <laughs> um, wow, that was peppy. <laughs> this is my video um, on motivation. I have big trouble motivating myself sometimes, uh, as I'm sure lots of other people do, to do anything that I find particularly difficult. Um, I am one of those annoying people <laughs> who has um, a kind of crazy perfectionism to the point where you have inaction, where you don't do anything, you don't even try because you're that scared of not coming up to scratch to your own standards or somebody else's standards or society standards or whatever. Um, that's something that used to paralyse me. Uh, it's something that I still have to be aware of, but I've worked on it to the point where I am uh, pretty good at spotting my crazy thinking and um, giving myself a kick to do stuff, even though it might be hard. Because the number one thing that now motivates me is that it is hard, <laughs> that it is difficult, that a lot of the time exercise and eating well and making the right choices every day, making healthy choices, choosing to look after myself, is difficult. And I get a kick out of the fact that it's hard and I'm doing it anyway. Um, that's something that I used to have the completely opposite mentality about. I would say it's hard. <laughs> Why am I doing it? I'm not going to do it. It's hard. I mean, come on. It's not rocket science. Something's hard. You don't do it. Well, I now know that that is a load of baloney. I don't say baloney, but it's a nice American euphemism for the other B word. Um, because I um, get so much out of it when I have achieved something that is difficult or that is hard. Um, and alongside that goes the acceptance that sometimes I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> I will set myself a goal and I won't be able to get there. And I'm, it's going to take work and consistency. And the fact that I am able to take that on board and say, you know, it's okay to fall down. It's okay to fail. Um, it's okay to um, not be the best not be perfect, not produce outstanding results all the time, um, that in fact, by doing that, by coping with that rather, by going through those kinds of things, um, that's where we grow, not to get all self-help therapy on you, but it's where we, how we grow as people through adversity. So, and I, I honestly do believe that. So that's one thing that motivates me at the minute is the huge thing is the fact that things are difficult. Going for a run in the pouring rain when my outside running, I'm still working on it, it it's tough, it's hard, and I do it anyway. And that's really motivating to, to know that I'm doing something that's difficult. What else motivates me? Goals. Setting goals. I would never set goals. I never um, voiced any desire to do anything in particular in case people would follow it up and say, so how are you doing on that? And inevitably I would have given up and I would have had to tell them, uh, actually, I'm not doing very well on that. I've completely given up. So <laughs> goals, um, goal setting wasn't one of my fortes. I, um, but now... I do tell people about my goals. I didn't necessarily tell people in my everyday life who are going to say, so how's it going? Um, although, you know, some things I do, for example, training for the 5K that I did in the summer, I would tell people that I was doing a 5K, uh, partly because I needed sponsorship, but partly because I knew that if I told enough people, I would, it would motivate me to do it. So the fact that... Um, I was accountable. Setting goals holds you accountable to yourself, to other people. And achieving goals is a phenomenal feeling, no matter how small those goals. When I'm talking about goals, I'm not talking about weight loss goals. Um, 
and although you know weight loss goals can be very motivational but I'm looking more at ways when it comes to motivation I look at, at ways that I can motivate myself that aren't to do with what the number is going to say on the scale because at the end of the day um, weight is only one part of measuring your health um, I don't I mean I set weight loss goals but I, they're not the, the ones that motivate me the most big thing for me this year um, I started running um, and running goals really motivate me achieving goals that I this time last year I would have laughed at I would have said that there's no way in hell that I would be able to do that there's just there's no way um, and I'm doing it in fact a couple of weeks ago I would have been like there's no way I can run for five minutes straight at 10 kilometers an hour and the other day I did it so it's a kind of, and knowing that that's the mentality that I'm going to have, um, that I will most likely be proven incorrect. Obviously, they will reach a point where, you know, I'm, not, I'm probably never going to run a marathon in an hour, 30 minutes, or whatever stupid time people get for 26 miles. It could be an hour, 30. It could be like four hours. <laughs> Ignore that. Um, um, but the fitness level that I am now and the fitness levels that I'm striving for I know they're achievable because I know six months ago I was down here and now I'm up here so I know that I can only I can keep getting better if I try lose the game said it best you can't fail the only way you fail is if you quit so not quitting goals keep me so motivated um, hang on a second, my dog is coming to pester me. Yes, here she is. Hello. Hi. Going to be on YouTube. Oh, two dogs on YouTube. <laughs> Who let the doors out? <laughs> Alongside those goals, sorry about that. Alongside um, goals also is um, the thought of how proud I'm going to be when I've achieved those goals. Uh, that motivates me um, from everything from um, saying, I'm going to go to the gym, oh, I really don't want to go to the gym, yeah, but think how proud you're going to be when you finish it, um, to being right in the middle of a sprint um, on the treadmill, going, oh my god, I'm going to die, no, you're not going to die, and think how proud you're going to be when you finish it, okay, god damn it, yes, you're right. Um, that kind of thinking, uh, it works its way into everything. So pride in myself is part of those, part of the reason that goal setting really works for me, achieving a goal that I've set. And another way that I motivate myself, motivation, motivating other people. This is a new one for me. I am quite a self-contained person. I'm quite um, independent. I don't like to rely on other people. Um, for various reasons, which I won't go into because they're kind of boring and psycho babbly and, um, but, um, motivating other people motivates me so much. I have discovered through, um, using the website Spark People and that community and through using Got to Cut and more communities on YouTube, um, that having somebody tell me that I've inspired them, or motivated them, or um, or uh, had some kind of positive effect, or you know, just said something that interested them. That is, that's huge to me. That's really, uh, I feel accountable. I feel um, like I owe it to them. Leaving myself out of the equation, I owe it to them to keep on being motivational, to keep on doing things well or you know having something good to report so it, it's very useful and I, I find that really um, motivating.